Hello everyone, today we're going to go over how to clean and maintain your Mustang. So let's jump right in. First, let's pan over a few products we're going to be using today. Meguiar's Car Wash, a foaming cannon, clay bar kit, water, soapy water, ceramic spray coating, tire foam, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, two buckets, one with a grit guard, a detailing brush, and ton of microfiber cloths. And this is basically what we're going to use today to go ahead and go over all the steps. So you're probably thinking, why can't I use a car wash? Well, unfortunately, car washes can be very abrasive to your clear coat. These belts and brushes you see have dirt embedded in them. They're not cleaned. So they actually act as little sandpaper against your clear coat, causing micro scratches. So let's look at an example of what I mean by micro scratches. If you look around the bright spot where the sun is, you see almost a webbing of scratches. These are your micro scratches. This is what we're trying to prevent by hand washing your car and not going through a car wash. So let's get started. We're going to use McGuire's Gold Class Car Wash. I used a hefty amount in this bucket. And all we're going to do is have two buckets, one for soap, one for water. So this one I'm filling with soap. The other one is going to have the grit guard, and that is just going to be strictly water. And that way, when you actually put your brushes in the soap, wash it against your car, you take the dirt off your car, and you go against the water bucket to get the dirt and grime off these sponges and off these microfiber cloths. Next, we're going to go ahead and fill our foaming cannon. Now, this foaming cannon can be found at Harbor Freight for about roughly $20. And with this one, you put a lot of soap in there and you put just a little bit of water. This will make it easier for the nozzle to uh, suck up all the soap and put it on the car. Now this part is actually pretty important when washing the car. This is where we're going to soap up the whole car and this actually gives it a chance for all the dirt and grime to loosen up and break away from your clear coat and from your paint. And right now this foaming canning is awesome. I don't have a pressure washer. Most of the time, most people have pressure washers and they work outstanding. Unfortunately, I'm limited to a water hose. However, the one from Harbor Freight here does an amazing job. You can see how it foams up the whole car without even breaking a sweat. And we're gonna go ahead and do the whole car, every nook and cranny, and all the wheels. Alright, our next step is wheel cleaning. Now we're going to do this first because your wheels collect the most tar, oil, and dust throughout your whole car. So if you say that for last, you're going to end up spraying all that dust and contaminant on the clear coat you just washed. So we have a nice brush here that's actually made for wheel cleaning, gets in between the spokes very well. So we already had soap on it, now we're going to go to water, use that grit guard and get all that dirt off of it, go back in the soap, and then continue washing. And then we'll continue this and do all four wheels before we do the rest of the car. Next, we're going to go ahead and rinse off all that soap we sprayed on earlier. And we're going to start from top to bottom. What we're doing is removing all that loose dirt and bird crap that was already on the car. And we're going to go ahead and rinse the whole car top to bottom. And that includes the wheels, the wheel wells, mirrors, and all. And just like step one, we're going to pull out our foaming cannon and go ahead and refoam the whole car. This will allow us to go ahead and have soap already on the car so we can hand wash it. And just like when we clean the wheels, we're going to use two buckets. I have a nice little car wash mitt that I acquired here. This is a nice little microfiber one that's made for this exact step. And we're going to go ahead and hand wash the car, and we're going to go make straight lines as much as possible. You're trying to go to avoid circular motions. If it's on the windshield, it's not really a big deal, but on your clear coat, try to keep it as straight as you can. And we're going to go through and hand wash the whole car. And as usual, go to clean water, get all that dirt off of it. And then I'm going to go back to my soapy water bucket and repeat. And again, we're going to go ahead and rinse off all the soap from the car from that hand wash process. Now in my steps, I'm doing the whole car as a one step because the day is actually very nice out and very cool. However, if you have direct sunlight or it's an extremely hot day, you might want to wash your car in panels or sections. That way you don't have any dry spots or any dry soap. Now just remember to get every nook and cranny when rinsing off your car. 
because right now the soap gets everywhere within your vents in between the hood and the fender so get every nook and cranny even get the mirrors because if not later on you're gonna see soap just dripping from those areas and you don't want water spots okay now it's time for the manual labor to begin we're on a clay bar this kit does come with three all we're going to use is one for this car so I'm taking my bucket of soapy water go ahead and use this instead of the spray that comes with the kit since the car is already damp and soapy and we're going to knee out the clay bar just a little bit and you want to use back and forth motions when applying the clay bar try to prevent doing circular motions now the really cool part about clay bar it's going to grab and pull all the dirt out of that clear coat it's going to get the dirt that we miss from hand washing it and this is going to give your car a deeper shine it's a really good process to do this work can be exhausting so you might want to break this up into one panel or one fender at a time all right for example we're going to do our driver's side fender now we're going to follow the same process we're going to go back and forth motions until the whole fender is done now take your time in this process this is very tedious and time consuming so take your time the better your job you do here the better your car will look now as your clay bar gets dirty go ahead and knead over until you have a clean spot on there it's not very difficult just keep doing that process until you're done with your whole car also something else I want to mention you do not have to clay bar your car every time you wash it it's something that's done very rarely typically when the car is neglected now look at that we just hand washed this car and this clay bar was able to pull all that dirt from that one fender so after doing the whole car that clay bar is pretty much shot it has so much dirt built into it we're just using that clay bar once and then throw it away And of course, every time you finish clay barring an area, just go ahead and rinse it off. That way you get all that soap out of that one little area. And just go ahead and do this until the whole car is done. All right, we're almost done. Now we're gonna have to hand dry it. This is where buying several packs of microfiber cloth really come in handy, because these things really soak up the water. So start from the top of the car and work your way down. Go in fast forward mode, that way you don't have to see me do the whole car. Okay, finally, now we're on a step that we could sit down on the job. We're going to do a little bit of wheel detailing. So if you see in between the lug nuts, you can see all that dirt around those lug nuts. And devil's in the details. So we're going to take our soapy water and go and spray in between every one of those lug nuts. Once we've got the soap worked in there, we're going to take a detailing brush and go ahead and agitate all the dirt around those lug nuts. Now these things are very inexpensive and they do a lot of work. These are awesome to have. Anytime you want to detail or clean your car, it's always good to buy a pack of these brushes. Once that step's completed, grab a bottle of water and go ahead and clean out every one of those holes where the lug nuts are in. Just go ahead and clean out all the soap. Here's a really cool part about these detailing brushes. The wooden end is pointy. So go ahead and take your microfiber cloth and go ahead and work around those lug nuts you just cleaned. Now I used a microfiber cloth that I've used on various things, cleaning plastics and other dirt and debris. So it has stains on them, but it's perfect for this job. So go ahead and continue until all the lug nuts are done. So the compound cleaning is an if required step. If you look at my wheels here, you can see some caked on oil and tar that are on the wheels that we couldn't wash off by the basic standards. So I went ahead and even took our soapy water here and tried to clean off this dry oil that's caked on the wheel. Because this should have came off with ease if it was just a brand new wheel straight from the factory. Unfortunately, these have been neglected for some time. So we're gonna have to pull out a little bit bigger guns. We have Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. This is typically used to remove scratches from your clear coat. However, you can also use to remove tar or caked on oil on your wheels. So I applied a little bit to a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and work it into the area that I actually wanna clean up. Now this step does require quite a bit of elbow grease. So this may take a little bit. All right, 
Then we're going to take a clean microfiber cloth. Again, you should have bags of these. And go and wipe away all the compound you just used. And as you can see, we started getting a little shine back to it. And of course, through the power of editing, I went ahead and fast forwarded. Now you can see the finished work after using all that Meguiar's compound. And all the tar is gone. The wheel looks like new. All right, and once we're done using the compound, go ahead and grab some rubbing alcohol. And we're going to go ahead and put it on again, a clean microfiber cloth. And go ahead and wipe down all your wheels. We want to remove any compound left behind from your previous job. Ah, uh, finally, this is where you're going to start seeing results. Ceramic spray coating. Now, Turtle Wax has this little hybrid solution here that had great reviews. I used this on several vehicles, and it works fantastic. You can also use it on your wheels. So spray just a few sprays on a wheel, and go ahead and wipe away all the spray you just did. Technically, you want very light sprays. However, the bottle was kind of low, so it looks a little heavy-handed. And once that's done, just wipe away every nook and cranny, and your wheels should be protected. And then look at that shine. Those wheels look like they're factory new again. And just like the wheels, I'm going to use that same Turtle Wax Hybrid solution and do the rest of the car. Now this one, I'm going to do one panel at a time, take a clean microfiber cloth, and wipe it away. It's just that easy. You can even do it in direct sunlight. It even says it right on the bottom. Just like the fender, we're going to do one section of the car at a time, a few sprays, and wipe away. It is that easy. Now, one of the questions that come up, how long does the ceramic spray bottle last? It will last you a long time. Right now, I've done four coats with this one bottle, and it, so far, it still has about a quarter of the way left. Now, some of you may ask, why don't you wax your car? I have done that before. I've used Meguiar's Wax Paste once upon a time. Unfortunately, after I've done it, approximately two weeks, three weeks later, I noticed a little bit of hazing on the paint, and it was easy to wipe off with a microfiber towel. Unfortunately, it was just an eyesore. So I experimented with this ceramic coating, and sure enough, I've seen better results, and it seems to last a lot longer. Just like clay barring your car, you do not have to apply ceramic coating every time you wash it. It's something you can do every 6 to 12 months, depending on your coats. The next day. And of course, the cherry on top, tire foam. This is just Armor All Tire Foam to give our tires a beautiful shine. Now I waited the next day just to make sure our ceramic coating fully cured. Also, this might be a great time to add that second coat of ceramic coating. The bottle recommends you wait 24 hours before adding that second coat. So this would be a perfect time to add that second coat to last the full 12 months. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward it and that way you can see this tire shine really come through. 